Hey, how y'all doing? This is part two, part two of my new um, buck knife, combat knife. Juno's joining us. And remember before part one, we ended it with, I couldn't get, couldn't get the knife up the sheet. And I still can't get the knife up the sheet. But I did go ahead and get a flat tip screwdriver. Let's see if we loosen these up. If it'll enable us to get the knife out. That's what I'm hoping and guessing. They're both sides turning. Let me see what I'm doing here. Okay, that feels pretty loose there. Well, that's really in there, people. That is really in there. Now, you know what I'm going to do to this one right off the bat? I'm going to put some lube inside of the, um, inside of the sheath. It really sticks in there. Fifty one sixty is a high carbon steel, so it rusts too. And I always do with high carbon steels whenever I get them. I don't leave them dry. I always put oil or grease or something on them. This is lithium based Militech 1 gun grease. High temperature gun grease. Gun grease. That's what I use on all my knives. I don't have any rusting issues. But always make sure you lube, you lube your knives. That's the way, that's the way you keep them looking new. Okay, let's see if it fits in the sheath a little bit better now, which it should. I dig the sheath though, I really like the sheath. I can see where it hits right in here. Same place right over here. Okay, now let's see where we can tighten it up to. I made them really loose. It feels like it wants to stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. A little bit tighter. Trying to see how far the, the screws are coming through because I want to do it like evenly. I think the main thing you needed was some grease. Okay, I'm going to leave it right there. Because I don't want to make it too hard and I don't want it to be too loose. But I absolutely love it. Get some grease on the blade. American made buck knives. 5160s, boss heat treated. Made in USA. I think it's a beautifully done knife. I can see why these are such hot tickets and they're hard to get. I've had this one on um, what do you call it, uh, notif being, to be notified when it came in for a long time. And when they came in, I jumped on it because I knew they were going to go quick and they're already gone. 
Anyway, let's compare it to some of my other old combat knives. Pull out some of the old favorites real quick. I'm not going to pull out the sheath and everything. I'm just going to pull out the knife. This one's the longest. The the this is a USMC K bar. These are 1095 um, 1095 CV blades. This is the EK model 44. The same knife that General Patton carried in World War II. And this is a new model for modern soldier. The 893 GCK from Buck Knives. I absolutely love it, people. Well, this is part two. That's all I wanted to show you real quick. You guys have seen all these knives. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. And get these videos out for you. Peace out. Saludo.